You are now listening to the Pelicans Post Game Report. Flash Report. For all things Pelicans, you're now tuned into the Pelican Post Game Report. Flash Report. I'm Big Q chiming in on this Flash Report. Please feel free to hit upon the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share these links which is on your social media with other Pelican faithful. In this Flash Report, going to cover some news and notes baby Bledsoe and Adams could be dealt this offseason this is coming from rumors that Eric Bledsoe Stephen Adams could be dealt this is coming from a report from the Bleacher Report Rob Goldberg is dropping the science of what possibly could be and we we talked about this ad nauseum on the Pelican Post Game Report about the fact that Eric Bledsoe was a disaster in New Orleans Stephen Adams contract is massive and of course the, the emergence of Jackson A's uh, is making it a lot more easy to conceive Steven Adams being dealt and freeing up the $18 million that Bledsoe have and the big money that Adams is making. Let's get into the report. After the disastrous 2021 NBA season, the Pelicans could be, they could look to unload some veterans. Bledsoe and Adams, according to Will Guillory and Sam Vicini of The Atlantic. Now, sources say there's an expectation that at least one of them will be uh, on the move this offseason. Now, Bledsoe and Adams were each bought in last season to add experience and depth to a young roster looking to take the next step toward contention. The squad instead struggled to a 31-41 and 41 record while missing the playoffs for the third year in a row. Now, the additions of Bledsoe and Adams didn't help New Orleans shore up its defense from last season. The Pelicans finished 23rd in the NBA in uh, defensive efficiency. Offensively speaking, Bledsoe averaged 12.2 points and almost four assists per game, both of which were lowest marks since 2012-2013. Now, Adams had a 7.6 points per game, were his fewest since his rookie campaign in 2013-2014. Now, the two veterans have two of the highest cap figures on the team heading into this upcoming season, according to Sportrack. Now, Ingram it has 29.5, will make more than Bledsoe, 18.1, and Adams with 17.1 next year. Now, the Pelicans seemingly prefer to move forward with their young core, which features Ingram, Williamson, Jackson, Hayes, and a W and more. However, they may struggle to find a partner for their, their underperforming veterans. The Cine went as so far as to wonder whether the Pelicans would wave and stretch Bledsoe to open up cap space. So this is some of the news and notes that we talked about. Uh, 18.1 from Bledsoe, 17.1 from Steven Adams, which the future is bright. And you can also consider trading these guys with future picks. The Pelicans has a, a basically a treasure trove of draft capital. Even though my mentality is I would not take that 10th pick from this year. We have four second round selections. We have multiple first round picks into the future. Perhaps a future asset of some sort to pair with one of these guys to make them more attractive to be dealt. So there's a number of different ways this can be done. But to free up the 18.1 from Bledsoe, 17.1 from Steven Adams would be interesting. But what do you guys think from the flock? We know about Bledsoe, but would you consider trading Steven Adams as well? What are your thought process on that? Let us know in the chat. Put in the chat how you feel about that. This is Big Q Chimin from the Pelican Post Game Report. And remember to hit the like button. Subscribe, 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 and share the show links. We'll holler at you later. Peace and go Pels. Subscribe now and stay up to date for all things New Orleans Pelicans.